Okay, and once again, I'm going to open up the assistant editor view. It's going to show me the controller for this view, and if it doesn't, I can use this jump bar to select the appropriate uh, the appropriate controller. So. So in order to make the controller respond to touch events on the button, I have to create a handler in the controller. And how you do that is you hold down control and you click the button you want to add a handler for and you drag while holding down control. You drag it to this interface uh, declaration, oh sorry, this one, the in implementation declaration for the controller let go and you can give it a name so I'm going to call it roll button clicked and the event that you want to respond to so you can respond to all sorts of events but touch up inside is the one where the user taps the button and his thumb is still inside so that's the one we want and click connect and it connect uh, sorry it creates this method handler for us which I'm gonna cut and just put down here so what do we want to do now when the roll button is clicked well what we want to do is get a dice number from our data controller so let's create a new instance of our dice data controller uh, before we can do that though we have to import the header file for the dice data controller because if you remember the header file contains information about how we can interact with that class now if you look at the header file it shows that uh, there's one private method called get dice roll and that's the one we're going to use okay so I'm going to go back to this and go back to our roll button clicked handler and we just added the import statement for the dice data controller so now I can go ahead and create a new instance of it and call it our model we create a new instance of our class and then um, create a variable to store the the number that we create so model see there's the instance method that we had written so this is gonna call the get dice roll method of our model which would return a number from 1 to 6 and we're storing it in this integer called roll okay now that we have our die roll how do we get it back on the screen so in order to do that we're missing a another view that we have to create so we're going to go back to the project navigator. I'm going to right click and create a new file. And then once again create a class. I'm going to call it die, die view. Uh, but this time it's going to be a subclass of UI view, which is something that we can use to display stuff on the screen. I'm going to save it in the root. Okay, now you might be wondering thinking back on our MVC pattern that we we have our model that's dice data controller we have our controller that's view controller class right here and we have our view view controller dot zip so why are we creating another view well views can actually be made up of you know multiple views together so you can add a view into a view uh, to create composite views so that's exactly what we're doing we're gonna create a view just for our die and we're going to add it into our interface here. So, uh, okay, let's go back to interface builder right here. Down here, we're going to type UI view, and we're going to drag this over and put it there. But let's size it the way that we want to. So, do 90 and 90. And put it into place. We're going to have another one. So I'm going to drag another one on here. You 
Now remember, when we created our die view, we subclassed UI view, right? And now we're adding UI view elements to our interface builder file. So now what we want to do is we want to specify that this UI view is actually an instance of die view. And how we do that is if you go back to the attributes on the right here, in this tab, you can change the class from UI view to die view. And just like that, this guy now is an instance of our die view. I'm going to do the same with our second one. And I don't want a white background, so I'm going to go to this other tab, this one, and change the background from white color to clear color. Okay, now going back to the die view. So I'm going to add a method in here, a private method called um, show die. Well, let's just leave it as show die. I'm going to implement that method now. Actually, we're going to have to change this. We're going to have to because having a method called show die we this view needs to know which die to show you know which die image from 1 to 6 so we're going to add a parameter that gets passed in called num okay and it's going to display uh, an image representing the number and remember we display images using the UI image view class so we're gonna create a property of this class it's gonna be of UI image view type and the property itself is gonna be called die image so in show die method if I'm going to check if our property die image, oh, I have to do self to reference the property. If it is nil, meaning if it this class, I'm uh, sorry, this variable is not referencing an instance of UI image view yet, I'm going to create an instance of it. So I'm going to assign it an instance of UI image view, allocate it. I'm going to specify where to create it. Those are XY coordinates followed by the width and the height. Oh, I'm missing one thing. Okay, let me get rid of that. There we go. And I'm going to place this image view into this die view. So self refers to the die view itself. And I add a sub view and UI image view is a subclass of, of UI view. You can see there that this method add subview expects a UI view. Well, I can actually assign it our UI image view, and this effectively places the UI image view uh, into the die view. So this happens only if the property die image is nil. If it hasn't already done this before, because episode five was quite long, I've split it up into four parts so that it's easier to digest. Click in the link in the description to go to the next part or click this annotation to proceed. Alright, I'll see you in the next part.